Well, I've told you guys some bad stories about previous employers and customers and stuff like that. But I've told you some good stories as well on the flip side. One of the good stories I have about quitting a job and them actually taking care of me. It's a very good story. I got a better job offer going to a place that paid four more dollars an hour. Plus paid for my medical insurance with no co-pays. I don't ever pay. I never paid anything, especially when it came to medications. It was like five bucks, ten bucks for, and that was all I would have to pay. Even when doctor visits would say that you're like something, your uh, $1,500 hasn't been met. You have to pay into that in order for the medical cover. Never. My employer took care of everything. I never picked up a dime. So other than the five, the five to 10, 15 bucks for prescription stuff, that was it if I had to go to the doctor. But all the medical stuff was paid for by the employer. There was no $500 a month dues or fees. The company had a 401k and all that other stuff. Really good company to work for. Um, I was leaving a union job where I paid $480 a month in dues and fees and all that other stuff to go to a place where I didn't have that. I was leaving a union job where I had medical coverage, but I didn't feel like it was up to the same level that I was getting through the platinum plan through the dealer that I went to. And then on top of that, uh, there were three shifts at this union place, and it was so large. It's the largest trucking company in the United States, I think the world now, Rush, Rush Enterprises. Great company to work for. Phenomenal people working there. It's just, you're a number. I mean, the turnover value. You know, you would have uh, a lot of people in and out. Such a high, such a huge capacity uh, establishment. A lot of people call it a almost a monopoly because these guys at one time I think had 147 dealerships across the United States they just they came out of Texas they kept buying and buying and buying and buying and shutting down facilities and starting facilities and shutting down other truck other uh, truck mechanic shops and stuff like that it just kept growing and growing and growing and good company uh, good pay good union pay uh, but, I, you know, I had a better offer. I had a better offer that seemed much, much better. So I went up to my foreman and I says, Hey, uh, hey, Mark, I'm going to give you my two weeks notice. I got a better job offer, more money. And uh, I really like this job. It's just, it saves me probably close to 500 to $750 a month. And all my medical is taken care of. I don't have to pay, you know, extra out of pocket or anything like that. Even my medical covers my family. Mark said, oh my God, that's crazy, man. I never heard of a deal like that where everything's taken care of. Yeah. You know, you don't have a union to protect you, but I've had situations in the past where the union has not protected me. They blew a lot of smoke up my ass and promised a lot of things and talked about, oh, we're going to help get this for you guys and that for you guys. And it was just all a bunch of hogwash. Um, let, you know, let employees get fired the day before their probation period is up, knowing damn well that it's going to happen. I've seen it happen. Um, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things where sometimes the unions work and sometimes they don't. Me, I've never been helped by a union. I've never felt that a union has honestly helped me in any kind of way. Um, I see the need for them, and I do know in specific situations they can be very, very powerful. And there's a lot of unions that actually do work. I mean, they will go out, check, make sure the employees are taken care of, make sure all the safety standards are being met, the employees have the equipment and stuff that they need is very, very important. And unions stop a lot of employers in at-will states from really doing employees bad. So I see the purpose of a union. I'm saying me specifically, I have never had help from a union. They've never done me correctly um but i'm not speaking bad about them either in that aspect it's just what i've experienced and rush when i gave my two-week notice rush enterprises the night foreman he said okay i appreciate it thank you we'll we'll talk to the, the manager the next day talk to the manager and they said you know what uh we appreciate your time and we appreciate what you put into the company and stuff like that you've been a great asset 
sorry to see you leave. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let you go now just for liability reasons. We don't want you getting mad at us on a job and doing something purposely to cause more damage. You're at a spot right now where, you know, you got everything bolted up and tidied up and stuff. And we don't want to take you and put you on another job and then have to possibly experience something like that. You know, a disgruntled employee taking it out on us. So don't, no, no, sir. No, not at all. I mean, I'm not mad at you guys at all. Just got a better offer. And he said, what we're going to do is because you've been so positive with us and you've taken care of us, is we're going to actually go ahead and pay you for the next two weeks. And then, oh, you know, it's, you're going to, you're going to get your pay for the next two weeks. So you can leave now. We're going to pay you for the next two weeks. And then two weeks after that, you're going to get your paycheck that you were behind. So thank you for everything. And uh, he said, have a great life. Sometimes it works out in your benefit when you give a two-week notice. A lot of times, it does not. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day.